Uh, you're way ahead of me because I'm still confused. I've watched the movie twice, and I can't even figure out who are the vampires and who are the werewolves. Yeah, this is a running uh, contention between my mother and myself. The first time she watched this movie, she didn't even know that the main character, Kate Beckinsale, was a vampire. She was having a real hard time telling the vampires and the werewolves apart. And for her benefit, I put together a small list that will help her to learn the difference between a vampire and a werewolf and how you can easily and with almost 100% accuracy identify them by sight. Unless you're me. Unless you're my mother. Okay, so first of all, vampires use guns, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I when got When they're fighting. They use guns because I guess it's easier than fighting hand-to-hand. Now, werewolves, they use guns because yes, they do. it's quicker and more efficient and less expensive than transforming all the time. Remember, every time you hulk out and turn into a werewolf, you have to replace the clothes that you shred. And, and they both use bullets, too. Yes. Vampires use silver bullets that cause the werewolves to burn when they're hit with them. And werewolves use ultraviolet bullets that cause the vampires to burn when they're hit with them. So you can tell which is which by how they react when they're hit with a bullet. If but- they start to burn, they're either a vampire or a werewolf. <laughs> right. And they all look vaguely alike. Well, this Especially is Especially in the dark. <laughs> well, the whole movie has to be set in the dark because vampires can't go out in the light because they'll explode. They'll, they'll blow up. They'll burst into flame. And werewolves can't go out in the daytime time either because they're afraid of the vampires and they gotta hide. So vampires are pale and pasty because they can't get any sunlight because it will kill them. Whereas werewolves are pale and pasty because they live in the sewers underground to hide from the vampires. See the distinction there? The only distinction I got was the werewolves lived like subway bombs. If they were, you know, on site, but then the vampires would go in there anyway, so I couldn't tell them apart in the tunnels. <laughs> well, it's easy to tell them apart in the tunnels, okay? Werewolves are going to be clad in dark brown leather with fur collars around their coats, okay? Vampires are going to be wearing dark black leather with no fur collars. And if that doesn't give them away from the outset, if they're clean shaven or have a well manicured little kind of artiste beard, then they're probably a vampire. But if they have stubble, definitely a werewolf. See, it's so easy to tell them apart. 